VM is go for launch. Check to step 93. T minus 30 seconds and counting. S5. Minus 20. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition and liftoff of the Minotaur 4 rocket carrying the ORS-5 spacecraft for the United States Air Force. of Carl Sealant providing vehicle launch avionics, vehicle ascent data. GNC cooling off. Check step two. Step one and work. T plus 85 seconds at maximum stage two thrust of 330,000 pounds. Vehicle attitude and flight path are nominal. In RCO, have you got AOSJD TMA? LC, RCO, AOSJD MTA. Check step three. Approaching stage two burnout at 115 seconds, followed by a 10 second coast and 2 3 ignition. Stage two burnout. Stage 2 separation, stage 3 ignition, stage 3 motor pressure nominal. Vehicle attitude and flight path are nominal. Vehicle is approaching the stage 3 gate. Variant separation confirmed. Vehicle attitude and flight path are nominal. Plus three minutes. We have maximum thrust of 73,000 pounds. Stage three burnout. Guidance solution converged. Stage four ignition will occur at T plus 831 seconds. This is Minotaur Launch Control, and as you just heard, we just had third stage motor burnout. The rocket has now entered a 10-minute coast phase. Liftoff was at 2.04 a.m. Eastern Time. And now as we wait for the next milestone, as the ORS-5 continues on its way to orbit, let's learn more about the U.S. Air Force's ORS-5 mission. 
ORS-5 is a space situational awareness spacecraft. It was a STRATCOM urgent need, and it's going to be scanning the, the geosynchronous belt for any threats that might be out there. 